What's going on, everybody? <laughs> oh, roosters. So you guys pretty much know what the video is kind of about. And I'm here to explain a little bit more about that title because I have a lot of concrete work here and I would probably estimate it around $25,000 with the concrete work if I was to replace it. Now, pardon me, it's a little rainy, so I might be dipping in and outside, but I wanted to show you guys what we are repairing. So let's check out what we're repairing first and then I will tell you how they're repairing it. And it only costs about, I don't know, a quarter of the cost. Everybody can relate to this. Everybody probably has dealt with concrete that's all busted up. And the reason why I'm choosing to repair this professionally is because I'm starting to get some sagging in my house. Now you can't really see a lot of this on camera, but all these pads are at different levels and they float. So it's a, it's kind of a fun house for a driveway. I have this company who's working down in the barn right now because it is way worse down there. But first I wanna tell you how they fix this concrete for a quarter of the cost of full replacement. Now, I'm not paid. This is not a paid advertisement. This is just something I thought was really cool because I know a lot of you guys probably deal with concrete like this. I know a lot of you guys deal with this stuff and I wanna show you what I'm doing to repair it without replacing it for minimal money. Now what they do is they drill quarter inch size holes into the concrete and then they shoot high pressure foam underneath there that expands and fills the voids of your concrete that are underneath that causes your pads to sink and crack. This is what the big problem is when you don't treat those cracks in your driveway or you don't properly maintain your driveway and or your concrete slabs that you have here, water will penetrate the expansion joints and these cracks, they'll sink in there and it will undermine your concrete pads, which causes this sinking that you see here. And it doesn't fix itself. It gets worse over time. And the only way that you can prevent it is obviously filling those voids or doing a full replacement. So what they're doing is like I said, they shoot this expanding foam that actually lifts the concrete up and they'll actually spray and walk this concrete up until they get perfectly level. Boy, those chickens still make a lot of noise. So we're gonna, we're gonna let them do their work. I'm gonna time lapse everything because I'd like to be able to catch all the concrete and everything move up and down. I don't know if the camera will catch it or not, but it'll be really cool. So let's go down there and see what they're doing. And then I'm gonna go straight to time lapse and I'm gonna skip all that boring talking stuff. So that's right. Let's go check it out.
well they finished up and they straightened out that sidewalk come down here they straightened out the lips on this and they leveled all that back out that is just crazy crazy I mean look at these gaps that was way down there look at that a lot better now now they're still not finished with any of this because they have to uh they have to come back here they have to grind out more of these cracks and they're going to put their special sealant in there that is like crazy strong when i tested the sample the guy challenged me to pull the two pieces of concrete apart twisting pulling however i could do it and guys I couldn't pull this stuff apart. It was crazy, crazy strong, and they warranty that for a very long time as well. And if it fails, they come out here and reapply it. But the foam underneath, not to worry, it's guaranteed for life. So if it sinks, fails, or needs adjustment, they'll come out here for free, no extra charge with your warranty, and lift your concrete up. So am I satisfied with the work that they did? Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, it took care of the heaving issues i had it took care of the high spots that my kids you know trip over and stuff it took care of the water running back underneath um into the into the foundation of my house it, it hit all those check boxes if you're a perfectionist you're not going to be happy with this process and let me tell you why well as you can see these spots right here they're still cracks in the concrete you're still going to have cracks in the concrete. It's still going to be known that you have busted up concrete. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. I'm sorry. You're still going to have high low spots, but what they're addressing is the voids in the concrete. So it doesn't get any worse and it saves the foundation on your house or where you're at. So if you're worried about like things shifting more, let me get out of the wind here. So if you're worried about things shifting more, things getting worse, then this is gonna be the thing you wanna do. Uh, if you're doing it for aesthetics, this is not gonna be the thing you wanna do. If you're doing this to make things look better, it's not for you. It's practical, it's cheap, it's somewhat long-term, and it gets the job done. Am I gonna be happy with this? I'm extremely happy with it. Do I plan on replacing this concrete in the near future? I don't. But maybe 10 years from now, I'm probably going to wind up pouring a new drive. Hey.